Hey, yo, what up? This is Mark from the Mark Digital Live podcast, produced by Feltzine. I just want to let y'all know, if you really want to support us and keep this shit going, please subscribe and rate this on Apple Podcasts. Like us on Spotify if you're listening on Spotify. Uh, if you're on Spotify, also just go ahead and search for Felzine and find our playlist and like that shit too so you can keep up with all these updates, the music, and the podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Feltzine. That's at F-E-L-T-Z-I-N-E. You can also find us on Facebook with that same address, Feltzine. Facebook.com slash Feltzine. However the fuck you use Facebook. Who even knows anymore? You can also please, please, please join our Discord. You can find the Discord link in any one of these podcasts. So if you're listening and you want to join the conversation, if you want to hear it live, if you just want to chat with us about shit, or if you want to ask us a question about the podcast or submit a question or a topic, just come through the Discord and do that. Join us over there. You could also find me at M-A-R-K-D-I-G-I-T-A-L-H-D on Twitter and Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there. And yo, thank you for listening. This is the Mark Digital Live Podcast. Peace, 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 peace. You know how we do. Uh, there's some crazy shit I saw on the internet uh, just now. I was just kind of like uh, browsing and shit, looking at stuff to think about for the show and just, just, just you know, doing my, my regular Tuesday shit. And uh, I came across uh, this post by Power 106. And um, yeah, let's see. Let's see where Power 106 is based. I don't want to get this one wrong. I know I know that's not New York. Okay, that, that's LA. So Power 106 in LA, they, uh, they posted a photo of a computer screen. And this computer screen has a list of the 50 worst rappers. Um, you know, and kind of in, in what I would call mainstream media fashion, they're trying to act like this is not a list that's made by somebody on their team. So the whole caption is like, who made this list? Y'all trolling. And then they said, why, why they do my man's Nick Cannon like this? Nick, Nick Cannon's on the list about midway through around 21. Um, and then they say they got it via via the at um, rap page that's at R-A-P on Instagram um, which is a really popular page I think mostly just because it's at rap it's mostly a meme page so um, so they say and they got it from the at rap page it's, it's a repost or some shit like that um, they, but you know um, rap is saying the same thing if you follow them and you click through and you find it on their page they're saying that um, someone made a list, and then when you click through to where it says "follow at bars," that's a that's a page that has a million followers, um, but it's private. Uh, so you know the whole thing is it's a list that no one wants to claim for pretty good reason. I mean, it's definitely trolling as as fuck. It's just trolling. I don't really think that there's anything here that. Well, I mean, without kind of anyone stepping up and saying this is my list. It's hard to, you know, even defend it. It could be a list of somebody who doesn't even listen to hip hop. Um, and some of this shit sounds like they don't listen to hip hop. Uh, on the 50 worst rapper list is Earl Sweatshirt at 34. Uh, that's obviously ridiculous. That, that I, I mean, Earl Sweatshirt, definitely one of like the most talented, um, kind of like interesting uh, rappers and lyricists that we have in the game today. Uh, you know, so it just kind of seems ridiculous for him to be on the list of the 50 worst rappers of all time. Um, there's a bunch of people on here that are ridiculous. Freeway, Ludacris, Cassidy, Chief Keef is on the list. YG, Tyga. I mean, I could go on and on about the people who shouldn't be on here. There's some people that are definitely on here that a lot of people would say are, are bad rappers who are actually like super impactful and, and important. People like Little B, um... I think the wide thing is a lot of people are going to see some of these names and be like, oh, yeah, that nigga should be on here. And it's actually going to th that's the problem with this list, I think, is that like um, none of it is actually really credible, but it's all credible enough where it's kind of like, all right, whatever. Like I could kind of I, I mean, I, not, not that you could accept it, but you could get in here that actually leads itself um, to feeling like that this person, I don't know, maybe is 
even though I wouldn't agree with any of these, they're definitely getting some of this from a uh, certain perspective that some people would agree with. So there are a lot of people who think 21 Savage is, is one of the worst rappers. Um, I happen to think he's extremely talented because I understand what he's doing. Um, you know, Krayshawn's on this list. Um, that's That was another thing that kind of struck me as odd. I just kind of felt like between Blueface, Little B, Krayshawn, that it just kind of also felt like um, West Coast rappers that were just kind of getting like just played for no reason. So I don't know that there's a lot when you look at this list that shows us obviously um, has a bias slant in some way. And in this case, it seems like that bias slant is definitely like um, on a side that's like less East Coast. I mean, more East Coast um, and less West Coast um, as far as support and, and artistry goes. There are just people on here that I wouldn't even consider a worse rapper, like Ron Artest. Like, who cares about any rapping that he did? Um, and I don't know. I mean, I don't even remember it. So that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that he's one of the worst. Um, anyway, yeah, man. I mean, there's a lot of people who um, who could have been on this list who are not. Uh, and, you know, those people like like I, I don't even want to call them out because they're just they're just whack, like actually whack. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that that's kind of where I stand with this list. Um, I I went through and counted. There's just on like kind of first look. There's actually like honestly, the fact that Playboy Cardi's on this list is ridiculous. OG Mako, that's ridiculous. Um, I looked through it. I think maybe like. Over 26, so yeah, over 26 of the people on this list, um, I actually think are 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 very formidable rappers in their own sense, and you know are kind of like dangerous with what they can do, either with their style um, or with their lyrics. So I think it's just kind of wild um, that that this list even exists from Power 106. And Power 106 posting it is a cosign. Um, the rap page on Instagram posting it is a cosign. Uh, I get that these people are just going to say that they share memes and silly shit all day, but um, that's what they get paid to do. And they know what their platforms do. They know what those mean. And um, supporting that kind of behavior, supporting that kind of troll shit at the end of the day, like, I mean, it does show that that you think some of it is at least legitimate enough to post and share. Um, and and with that, I'm basically going to gonna hold you to that. Uh, and both of these lists are going to be, uh, this list and the next list I'm about to talk about are going to both be uh, in the description. So you can feel free to kind of follow them and check them out. Uh, if you don't feel like wasting your time and checking them out, you know, I completely understand that too. Cause, um, I'm not necessarily co-signing them or saying that they're dope. Um, so with that, we also got a list from Funkmaster Flex, which, um, which I just think is kind of, it's kind of interesting. I mean, to be honest, I think the list is a lot better than a lot of other lists that we've seen recently. Uh, once again, it's definitely like North East Coast heavy. Um, you don't get a lot. You don't get too much excitement about, um, you know, the West Coast on here. Um, looking through, I don't I don't know if I see any West Coast rappers on here. So that, that's kind of interesting. Um, very few Southern rappers as well. The ones that are on here are definitely people who like Northeast New York hip hop heads would, um, would agree with. The one thing that I think is kind of wild when I look at this, uh, poster, it's a piece, I guess it's not a poster or a piece. It's this kind of, this kind of Instagram graphic that, um, that Funk Flex made and posted, um, that has the top 50 best rappers. So it's a Funk Flex list of the top 50 best rappers. In it, he says that he's evaluating them off a of skill level, which in parentheses says bars, uh, their body of work, and their impact. Um, like I said, looking through on a couple of glances, um, I'm not seeing any West Coast rappers, uh, very few Southern rappers. The most hilarious thing on here, though, is this, this section. <laughs> not even this section. He has these, like... Uh, these asterisks next to Drake and Kanye West. First of all, he puts Drake in his top 10. Uh, he made Drake number five. He put Drake over Cole and Kendrick um, and Pusha T as well and Kiss, Black Thought. It's wild. I mean, at five, he's he's only behind Jay-Z, who's number one, Andre 3000, Nas, and Rock Rakim. Uh, and for an old head like Flex to, to put Drake in that top five, um, to me, I think is... I don't know. That just says so much. I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised that Flex is that much of a fan of Drake. Uh, 
that he would do that, especially when you start considering. I mean, there are people like, uh, um, you know, like DMX is at 28. Most Def is at 29. So um, that says that Drake is almost six times as good as um, most Def is, which is a pretty intense statement to make um, from my perspective and not something that I, 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 I can agree with at all. Um, I think that that's a huge miscalculation. Uh, same with Cam. I mean, Cam's 21. So I don't, I don't know. I just, I just feel like this is very inconsistent. Um, I guess he's just going to say Drake has hits. But, um, you know, Vanilla Ice has hits. Um, Eminem has hits. I don't even know. I don't even, like, Eminem's 15. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if that's the case, where's Puffy? I don't think Puffy's on this list. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I just think some of that stuff is kind of strange. Like I said, the Southern rappers on here are like T.I., Rick Ross, um, uh, Wayne, and uh, it looks like who else is a Southern rapper who's on here? I know that there's one. Um, I guess I'm missing it. Um, I mean, Andre, yeah. But l- like I said, all a bunch of rappers that you would think, um, who you would pretty much think somebody who is from like the Northeast and, um, you know, like listen to hip hop and grew up in the era that Flex grew up in would be listening to and would be like fucking with. So that's pretty much how I see that. I mean, I think that this whole Flex uh, top 50 MCs uh, is definitely a way better list than what we had with the 50 worst rappers. But this is super biased in a way. Like I'm really, I mean, I understand he had that whole thing with Tupac saying Tupac was a snitch. But that's wild. I mean, that that's insane to say that if, if we're going to consider someone like Drake and talk about body of work and impact, that we can't include Tupac in that. Uh, just because Tupac has been even extremely influential in his death. Like, you could put Tupac on the list twice. You could put Tupac on the list when he was alive, and then you could put Tupac on the list once again when he was dead. And, you know, you could argue which which Tupac is better in that and just in that career. So... I think that that's super, super interesting. No Notorious B.I.G., no Biggie in the top 10 at all, which seems like a huge miscalculation. It looks like Biggie's not even in the top 20. Um, that's 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 just a huge miss. I mean, um, I'm looking at the list over. It, it looks like no Biggie's on here. Uh, so no Biggie, no Tupac on the list. That That's wild. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that you, you have to start to wonder when when you think about it from that perspective, considering that he has such a they has Jay Z on here, he has Nas in the top three. It seems like I, I don't understand the perspective of not including Biggie in there. I guess if you say body of work, he only had a few albums, but um, to me that just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I mean, Remy Ma is number twenty five. Like, how are you not gonna have Biggie in there? I don't know know if I see Big Pun. Yeah, I don't even I don't even see Big Pun on this list, but we have Remy Ma. So I mean I get it, but it's not like Remy Ma's body of work, even if she might have more albums than any one of those. The the impact she has to lose so many points on impact that 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 it that it can't be a real competition, right? Um so yeah, I mean I just think it just I'm I'm just not totally understanding the um the whole the whole circle here. Also saying Andre three thousand instead of Outcast as a group seems wild. Um but I guess this is what we're doing. I mean, this is why these kind of things don't make sense, right? Because you have Ghostface at forty seven, but I mean it's it seems weird to not consider Wu Tang as just like MCs as a group and as a force, especially when a lot of their music was was performed that way, right? So you have Styles P at eighteen, but you have Jada Kiss at eight, and I think that that's a huge. Um, once again, that's a miscalculation. It doesn't make sense for them not to share their spot together. It's not that Jada Kiss is that much better than Styles P, even if Jada Kiss is better than Styles P lyrically. Um, style, what Styles P can do, uh, style wise, is 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 just as comparable. So I think this whole list is just missing a lot. Uh, once again, I'll have this list in the in the description so you can check it out. Um, let's see. I'll just give the top 10 for everybody listening who won't have the time to check it out, but the top 10 of Funk Flex top 50 living MCs based on skill level, uh, when parentheses bars, body of work, and impact are Jay-Z, number one. And then in following is Andre 3000, Nas, Rock Him, Drake, who has an asterisk next to his name for Questionable Pen, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T, 
Jada Kiss and Black Thought. Um, and you know what I think is super interesting too is you got your 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 thought up a sign that says questionable pen on Drake and Kanye West, but then the person who wrote for them, who wrote for Kanye at least, most deaf is on that list. So um it's most deaf not implicit in that kind of kind of bullshit then. If if you're gonna go out there and you're gonna say like yo, questionable pen, then why does it not apply for the people who are also um, implicit in creating that questionability and if it's okay for them to be a part of that creative process then what's the issue um, because all of this is, is consensual it's not like these niggas is stealing bars that would be a totally different thing